Hello guys, alright so uh, welcome back to another video. I actually thought that I was going to include this footage in my uh, last vlog but I decided to do a whole new vlog for you guys because I am heading to Paris today, the infested city with bed bugs right now. So I hope I'll be okay but um, just finished packing, I am currently in London. Um, I'm actually, I actually just decided to do a carry on. Uh, I want to shoot some stuff with Shannon, um, who's also like an Instagram, IG guy, does content, fashion mostly. Uh, I'm sure you guys know him, but uh, we're good friends and we always shoot content every time I'm in Paris. So usually I tend to, t uh, to pack a little bit more than usual, but I decided to just do a carry on because I was already kind of like looking at what I've been wearing while it's here. And I'm like, I'm not gonna shoot that stuff. So I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna pick the pieces. I'm gonna pick the pieces that I haven't shot yet to take with me to Paris. So just finished packing. We're leaving in about 15, 20 minutes. And uh, yeah. Come on me, leave all of your things, yeah. You can stop at Gucci, stop at Louis V. She's got the North Face. Practical, you see. Damn, this this looks crazy. With the tripod, I like it. No, I'm sure she'll be okay. Just got to Paris, uh, currently waiting for uh, my guy's uh, cousin to come pick us up actually and then we're heading straight to a restaurant opening. I probably won't record that because I don't know the people so well so a lot of the times if I don't know people, I'm kind of just like, I don't want to take out the camera and start recording and shit. But um, yeah, so we're, we're probably just going to head back to bed after that. And then tomorrow, start the day fresh and uh, see where the day takes us. I really have no plans being here. I'm just here for a couple of days. I'm going to probably try to shoot some content, meet up with a couple of guys. And that's about it. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be wearing today. A very calm, chilled outfit because honestly, whenever I'm here, I walk around a lot and I also gotta think about shooting content and maybe trying different outfits, but honestly, I just don't care. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna just wear what I'm comfortable with and just switch it up a little bit. So starting off with this uh, top, this is the Rick um, long sleeve top, beautiful piece to wear just as an underlayer. So that's what I have on right now. Then we're gonna throw in some jeans. Jeans I might go on, I go with the, the ones I was wearing yesterday. So, look at this guy, bro. Um, yeah, this I love wearing these whenever I'm traveling or just walking around because they keep their shape and on top of that, they're just so comfortable. So we're gonna throw these on for today. What's funny is um, I actually packed quite a few pants, but I always end up wearing, whenever I'm traveling, I always kind of just end up being in the same stuff and just switching up the tops, like especially with pants. Like these, I always just find that they're just so comfortable whenever I wear them, because the thing is I can get anywhere with these. Like, you know, if we're going out for dinner, if we're just going out walking, I can throw these on with some derbies and they look clean, nice. And then I can just switch the tops. So like I'll do a hoodie, you know, a blazer, 
bomber and it just works for me so <laughs> I packed all these pants but to be honest I've just been wearing these since I've been uh, in Europe like even in London I've mostly been wearing these let me know if you guys uh, kind of feel like that sometimes you know you pack a lot and then you just end up wearing literally the same thing here's what we got for the belt I've been getting a lot of questions about this belt this is actually from Duble I got it during the essence sale beautiful belt Hello. Uh, hello. Where are you from? New Zealand. I met you on a cup of breakfast. Our last piece we're throwing on, we've got this beautiful Julius blazer. It's got like nice crop. sitting eating and uh, gonna go check out a few stores we're in Le Marais right now um, and my battery is actually about to die so I carry this camera and now I'm realizing my battery is about to die but I'll probably shoot the rest of the stuff on my uh, iPhone but yeah sitting at a cute spot here this guy is you was hungry bro oh definitely you was hungry. hungry this guy was very very hungry but yeah beautiful beautiful time to travel man like I said it is so nice out right now. It's unbelievable. But yeah. It's not something you wear every day. Play around with it. Oh, switch. Easy. Like, you know, it has a lot of details on the sides. Easy. You can tie the ropes if you want. Easy. Open, close. Because the thing about it comes with vests, I struggle with being secure. Like, in my chest. My chest kind of mm -hmm. come out of it.
Damn. Yeah, it's some really nice glasses, man. Oh, you look sick, though. Yeah. They're nice, huh? Yes. I like them. So well yeah, I really like them. Non, le gars, il est américain. currently at the Rick Owens store and I actually just ran into a guy that uh, follows some of the stuff that I do so we've just been chatting chilling out man it's always nice to run into like just people that are kind of trying to push into their creativity like he was just telling me he's working on a brand and uh, you know and he's just trying to make it happen he moved to Paris eight months ago he used to work for Acne now he's at Rick Owens and it's just beautiful man and also you know now, now one thing that I noticed with these uh, high-end luxury stores people are just a little bit more welcoming like they're not stuck up like even if you're not buying anything they'll chat with you like we got water we got coffee and it's just good vibes all around man so it's nice to see that like high-end brands and and people working for these high-end brands aren't so stuck up anymore mm. uh, recently like rick has just been feeling right for me you know every piece that i try on i'm like oh this looks perfectly yeah, now obviously yeah. it's popping right now yeah. so you can think it's trendy but it's like nah you just kind of want to wear what feels right yeah, for you, you know? So if you find the right pieces, you know, Rick as well. They could be your length. Yeah. Shape. Yeah. If I see you wearing the kids here and stuff, but I don't know if you have it. I don't even have them. Yeah, yeah. Like the, the the kiss for me was yeah. kind of like a bit too much for me. You know, I grew up yeah. playing fucking yeah. soccer and Kids sports and all that and stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not really. I don't know how to wear heels. You know, like and and it's like it's not that I don't want to try it. It's yeah. just not for me. You know. Even my mom but then, you was laughing about the heels. So yeah, yeah. Like, like come on. <laughs> Well, man, it's pretty chilled. Just had some crepes and uh, a drink, a drink or two. And now we're heading home, and I think we're gonna have an early night, man, because as I said, we went out last night and it's pretty lit. And now, uh, trying to have an early night so I can get my fit ready for tomorrow because I'm shooting with Shannon. And I'm gonna give you, uh, give you guys a behind the scenes. We're actually trying to shoot a little bit early so that. Um, so that uh, uh, we can have breakfast afterwards and also the streets are a little bit quieter in the morning especially on a Sunday so I'm gonna make sure to give you guys some behind the scenes of that and uh, yeah see you guys tomorrow <laughs> Vu la paire de crocos, Je vois la paire de crocos. Yeah, la team. So we just finished shooting actually, and uh, man, shooting in Paris is unreal because the options are endless. Anytime that I'm here and I'm able to do this and also connect with people that are kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing, it's always very inspiring. Like Shannon and I have known each other for 
going on a couple of years now, like two, three years. And uh, every time we link up, it's so much easier to shoot because we understand what each other needs. We help each other shoot content. You know, we did only one outfit this time around, but um, we are uh, planning on maybe doing another one tomorrow. I don't know if we'll have time because we go back to London tomorrow. But if we don't, then, you know, I'm back in January for Fashion Week, so we'll do that. Paris trip is coming to an end, actually. But overall, it's been a great trip, man. Managed to do some good pickups. But I think I'm going to show you guys the pickups when I get to London tomorrow. Um, just so I can sit down and actually kind of show you guys how it fits and talk about it a little bit. But uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog. It's been great just kind of seeing in general like even just the people that i meet in the streets or like the people that just come say hi to me like hey i follow your work and you know i really appreciate everything that you're doing it just kind of like makes me see the importance of just being able to put yourself out there and just you know uh, do the things that you truly want to do and don't expect support don't expect your family to be there for you necessarily when you're starting up or your friends but just believe in yourself i think Sometimes when you feel like you want to do something, you're a little bit hesitant because maybe you feel like the support isn't there or maybe you are fearful. And for me, like one of the things that I can say I've truly done um, is just continuously lean into that fear. You know, I tell you guys all the time, I studied economics, I was supposed to be in banking and just do the whole, you know, nine to five. And I am still doing a nine to five, but it's a nine to five that I enjoy very much. You know, I get back to Canada next week and, you know, I'm supposed to be working with some athletes and hopefully I'll be able to bring you guys that content. And I work with like great coworkers, people that are equally as passionate as I am. And, you know, and you guys see with my fitness, I'm super passionate about fitness and it's something that I take very seriously. So I try to apply myself in that. And all around, it's just like really finding the things that you truly enjoy to do. And just getting yourself out there and expressing that like i think in today's society it's very important to have a personal brand and to brand yourself and to uh, showcase people your talents just things that you're passionate about and not overthink it i think that's something that i've done this year with my platforms where i haven't really been overthinking my content i've just been posting whatever feels right to me and whatever i think not necessarily brings value all the time sometimes it's just entertainment sometimes it's just I really love this fit or I really love this little video clip here it shows these type of details and just expressing that and not really caring what people are gonna say like I think you know I see on my shorts on my Instagram on my TikTok like a lot of hate comments and to me I respond to them because it doesn't do anything to me because I know that if someone takes the time to hate on whatever you're doing they're absolutely operating on a much lower level than you are. So just always remember that because someone that's doing something, they don't even have the time to check on you. They don't have time to go and comment on other people's stuff or whatever work they're doing. You know, they're too busy creating their dream life. So always remember that and just keep pushing, man. Keep pushing and believe in yourself. <laughs>